Hello and welcome to another Raggy's beer review over in Raggy's tap room, albeit a cold tap room. Today we're going over to today rather we're going over to um, Giltbrook in Nottingham. Um, this beer was kindly gifted back to me by a friend of the community, so we wish to remain anonymous. So thank you. Um, well, it was actually a gift card that was gifted, so I chose the beers myself. So, um, this is 99 Red Baboons from Blue Monkey. Um, since hitting the beer world in 2008, Blue Monkey has gained a powerful reputation by winning a lot of awards. Um, so it says here, a dark and refreshing ale, Rubio, Combining fruity hoppiness with a dark malty side. Is it a porter or maybe a mild? You decide. 4.2%. I first saw this beer. I think I actually saw it before then. But it did come to Sainsbury's when I worked on the beers, wines and spirits department in Sainsbury's in Arnold. Um, for five years. So, uh, drank a lot of beer. Tried a lot of beer. Learned a lot about beer while I was there. You know. And uh, at least I can say, actually, um, you know, other beer background before I actually did beer reviewing. So, it's a dark beer, ruby, brown uh, sort of colour. Um, a smattering of head on there. Um, a slightly off white head, a little smattering of head. There's a, a multi nose, slight nuttiness on the nose. Yes, I can remember when this came into the, the Great British Beer Festival at Sainsbury's. Sadly, they don't do it anymore. And it is a thing with supermarkets where, sadly, supermarkets don't give off their um, you know, support locals like they did back then. Um, I remember that Screech Owl from Castle Rock Brewery was also in there and it absolutely flew out. Also, Wall Top Brewery were there with their Scarborough Fair IPA. Batesman's Brewery with their mocha. Um, some absolutely brilliant beers over the years. So a mild or a porter. The sad thing is mild is so underrepresented in UK supermarkets. If you look around UK supermarkets, there's literally, there was one in Morrison's, but I don't know if that's any more. Um, and yet there are milds out there. I'm absolutely frozen in this shed. <laughs> Breezing my bits off. So it's malty. There's a, there's a slight hint of chocolate in the back end. Um, it's an easy going beer. I actually think it's it's closer to a mild than it is a porter. And uh, I mean, it's one. It's probably my favourite of all them the beers from this brewery. Without a shadow of a doubt, it uh, it's lasted the test of time. It's uh, it's a good dark beer, fam. A uh, dark beer, rather, um, and certainly, you know, it's a beer you could actually session on. What, what I do find with most beers these days, and I'm not just talking one brewery, I'm talking most breweries, is that there's not many beers you could actually session on, and it's not the ABV, it's uh, or the style of beer. It's the fact that um, a lot of beers just, you know, once is enough. Once is always enough. Um, and that's where the beer industry evolves because when we think about the beer industry, I mean, I'm sure we're all like it. We all want to try new beers. And yeah, it is nice. It's, it's lovely to try new beers. And then that's it. Try the beer. Oh, yeah, I liked it, but. Yeah, I'm not bothered. And then move on. And they, it does seem to be the trend these days. Not not for everyone. No, no, there are a lot of people who will go into pubs and drink one beer all day long. Yeah, good on you. I'll come down and show because the wife's watching Coronation Street. And I absolutely hate soaps. I'd rather sit in the cold shed, talking to a camera, to myself. 
as I normally do, and uh, and doing that. Although my directive for the channel now is clear, I have a clear directive for the channel, and um, I've instigated. It's coming along this week. Uh, this week's been a crazy week, mind you. I did 14 reviews last Saturday. That won't happen many Saturdays, you know. Uh, for the most part, it'll be between four and six, uh, which is enough because it's a lot of stuff to put on the channel. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, by a long way, I'm the most active beer reviewer in the UK, if not further afield. Um, it's not always about views. Too many people care about views. Um, but I care about supporting and uh, genuinely supporting as well, you know, um, the breweries across the UK and beyond. Um, as you will know, you know, it, it never was. I mean, I put out a lot of different things. I try and bump up local pubs, uh, breweries. Obviously, I only, I only really drink locally anyway. I don't go further afield. Not often anyway. Um, and, uh, you know, supporting supporting is is essential to me um and i still have my own opinion on matters and i always will um so yeah i got this from adventure beer adventure beer massively supporting local um beer industry and you know, as shops go now, we are at two shops in Nottingham that do beer. Brew Cavern on Flying Horse Walk and Adventure Beer. Hopology in West Bridgeford and Kimberly Craft Ales, which I'm really sad about because I love those guys. I love that shop. Uh, they packed in as well, which is really, really sad. The beer industry is, is on the edge of a precipice. Um, and uh, only breweries that continue to brew good beer, that probably streamline their efforts and certainly put beer at the forefront, um, for me, will survive. Breweries with, you know, that don't, that don't embrace, I see it all the time, that breweries don't embrace social media. And I'm not just talking breweries, I'm talking pubs as well. Some pubs are very lacklustre in their social media um, aspect. And word of mouth is one thing, social media is critical. But hey ho, you know, um, some of the best breweries have also gone, but you know, it makes you wonder. And uh, it's, a, it's a beer review and a slight chat as well. It makes you wonder, you, when you look at breweries that have gone, why? Why? Why have they gone? Is it, uh, I've had enough, I'm going. Is it the fact that I ain't made no money anyway? Because uh, I know some good, I know locally people that are doing amazing stuff and, you know, buying more beer, more casks and, and moving on. So it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, as a Nottingham person, I certainly don't want to see any of my locals go, you know, um, I don't want to say any, 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 you know, every, behind every brewery there's a family. And, uh, you know, there's, there's more to it than meets the eye. Um, I mean, I work in hospitality as, as a gardener, working at two hotels. And they're looking pretty good as well. Um, and they will do. <laughs> yeah. the, the two and a half year journey is really coming to fruition. And uh, this is going to be the interesting year. I will divulge across my social media uh, when it starts to win. Obviously, not until spring and summer, mind you. But um, there's lots coming. Yes, indeed. And uh, the plans I have uh, for that in, in, in respect of that. So back to the beer. Give it a bit of time to breathe. Always the thing with Billy Raggy's beer reviews. Uh, I let beer breathe. Because as the air gets to the beer, baby, it develops. You can't do. I literally, I'll go to a pub and do a cask beer review. 
and they're stopping at one minute now. Why? Because the shorts are, are a great way of um, doing reviews and reviewing beer that I can't review at home and I can't spend time to talk about it because one, it's ignorant when there's people around me who are trying to drink their beer. And, and two, I don't really want to spend too long in a pub, you know, doing reviews as well. You know, it's, uh, that's it's, it's, it's our, our time. And uh, I have, we have, as a family, been doing a lot of pub supporting um, this last seven or eight months. Um, more so than ever in my life. I don't, even when I was a real beer drinker back in the day, a lava drinker probably then. Uh, even then, I didn't go to the pubs as much as what we do now. Once a week, well, maybe. Probably when I was 19 and I was at the pub seven days a week, but there you go. I wasn't going out of anybody then, so, you know. So, 99 Red Baboons. Uh, like I say, one of my favourite beers from this brewery. Um... Me and the beer have got a um, a story from way back at when I worked at Sainsbury's, and it was a good time at Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's was a much better place to work for them. You know, there was a good manager in charge of the department. There was a good store manager, great staff around us, real camaraderie. You know, it was a lovely place to work for. It is none of that now. Um, as most of retail is, you know, it's it's not nice. Treating your staff <laughs> right should always be the way. Because what you sow, you reap. And uh, how, sad, how sad it is in a world we're in, where a lot of people have no idea how to treat staff. And uh, appreciation, reciprocation. It's it, the two words that are not enough there in, in the world. Sad, sad. And then what happens with that? Appreciation, reciprocation. And then what happens is um, you you basically, over time, you fall out. And, uh, you know, I've been in, in workplaces where, you know, I absolutely bend over backwards to do the work. And growing stuff at home and, you know, doing way beyond what I really need to do and what I'm paid to do. And then other people um, literally do nothing and do their work, don't care and get better thought of. And uh, it's a sad world at times, it is. And then you think, right, I'll start pulling back. And then when you pull back and don't do... People think you're being funny, but you're not because you, you're just doing what everybody else does. <laughs> and uh, mm, it is a funny old world, isn't it? 13 minutes. As always, a long Raggy's beer review. Uh, it's nice to actually have a talk sometimes. You know, you work on your own all day. Um, and I've only got robins and blackbirds for conversation at times. Um, but hey, I, I don't mind robins and blackbirds. And... Uh, I mean, they do say robins uh, are people from above coming down to, you know, be with you. And uh, if that was true, you know, uh, I've had three around me all day today. So, you know, is that my mum, my dad and my dog? Or my mum, my grandma and my dog? Um, or is that three of my dogs? You know, Charlie, Max and Sheba. Or Sadie even. Ah, you can but wonder, can't they? You know, the world we're in, you know, sometimes it's nice just to think lovely thoughts and not be too swallowed in by the news and, 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 and the negativity that flows all around us at the moment. Such negativity in the world. And, they, and, and the, the really bad thing is, there's no need for an, an, an ounce of it. If only everyone played together well. Hey ho. So, anyway, the beer itself. More of a mild to me than anything. Uh, that's how it comes across. It's a very malty beer with a subtle hint of like chocolate and a hint of nuts as well, funnily enough. Um, for me, it's a nice beer. 
Um, over the years, though, um, like most beers over the years, uh, the world has changed in beer. Your palates have developed. So whilst it's still a nice beer, um, yeah, it's not the beer I remember from 10 years ago, funnily enough, as my journey into beers was a lot different back then. And I do find this with a lot of beers, a lot of beers that have been around a while. Some are good for the test of time. Some have absolutely failed the test of time. And and, and, and that's, it's only a personal preference. So, you know, I like the beer. I'm just, I'm just saying that the test of time is, you know, this is where craft beers at the moment come into play. Not all craft beers, mind you. Um, out of five for me, a good 4.0 out of five. And that's it for this review. As always, thank you everyone for watching, liking, subscribing and commenting on reviews. And if you haven't subscribed, please join the channel. Probably the most unique beer review channel out there. And uh, yeah, cheers on.